my second grade, for your math assignment for today, you are going to be playing a math game. You're going to be playing Sum It Up, or we call it Roll and Write, where you are building some algorithms and finding the sum. So the first thing that you're going to do is decide if you want to play by yourself or if you have someone at home you can play with. And then once you know if you're playing by yourself or with someone else, you are first going to roll the more or less dice. Okay, and I got more. So what this means is whichever card has the higher sum is going to be the card that wins. So if I'm playing with um, my sister at home, then and she gets a bigger sum than me, then she's going to win this round. If I'm playing against myself, then I'm just playing to see if card one wins or card two. So how to play after you've rolled the more or less and you've circled more or less with the writing tool, you're just going to be tossing the dice to write in some numbers. So I'll show you how we do it. I go ahead and toss the dice and I'm going to play by myself. So I'm going to show you how to play by yourself. I got two. So I'm going to click on the calculator button and I'm going to put in two and I'm going to decide I can put it in any of these boxes. So I'm going to put mine, um, just right here, I think. And then, actually, I might put it here since I'm going for more. Also, there's two cards here. You can play for three digits, or you can come down here and play for four digits. So let's actually play for three digits on this round. So let me come here to the three-digit card, circle more, and input my two. Okay, and now I'm going to roll again. I got another two, so I'm playing by myself, so I'm just going to fill in this one card first because I'm playing by myself, and then I'm going to fill in my other card. If I was playing with a partner, we would take turns. So I would roll and write in a digit, then my partner would roll and write in a digit. So I'm going to go again. I got three. I think I'm going to put my three here. I'm going to roll again. Six. Oh, that's a good one. So I want to put that in my hundreds place because I want to make as big of a number as I can. Okay, four. Four is pretty good. I think I'm going to put my four in the hundreds place because I don't know. I'm worried I might roll something less on this next roll. Oh, see, I got two. Okay, so I have this card filled in. So now I'm going to come over here because I'm playing by myself and I'm going to fill out the player two card. I want to see which side is going to win. And I'm going to try to get both sides to, you know, I'm going to work hard at both sides. So I'm going to put four in the hundreds place, toss it again. Oh, I got a five. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to go there. Okay, five's good. I'm going to put that in the tens place. I'm trying to make some big numbers. Four. Go here. Okay, four again. That's going to have to go in the ones place. And three. And I'm going to put that in my ones place. Okay, now that I have both cards filled out or that me and my partner have both filled out our cards, you're going to find the sum. So now you have to do some math. Okay, there's base 10 pieces on the left hand side if you need help doing some counting. If you don't need those, then you can come down and start with the ones place to solve. So I'm going to start in the ones and sit, figure out how many ones I have. Well, I know two plus two is four. I'll put that there. And then I'm going to come to my tens. Well, I have two tens plus three tens. So that means I have five tens, which is also 50. I'm going to go over to my hundreds. Well, I know four plus six is ten. So 10 hundreds, which is going to be, oh, maybe I'll do two. I'll do a zero and put that here and a one. I know 10 hundreds is a thousand. Go so there. Okay, now I got to solve this other card. Four plus three. Well, if I count on four, five, six, seven. So four plus three is seven. And then it looks like I have five tens plus four tens. 
I know that's nine. And then I have five hundreds plus four hundreds is nine hundreds. I want to bring my nine hundred down too. So now I am going to put in who has more and who has less. And I want to make sure I'm writing the statement correctly. So over here, I know 1,054 is greater than 900, what was it, 997. So my statement for this card is going to say 997 is less than 1,054. And then I want to make a statement for this card too. And I want to say 1,054 is greater than 997. And um, since we were going for whoever has more, I can take my pencil and circle the winner. And then again, if you want to make it more challenging, you can click down here at the bottom and you can work with those four digit cards. Have fun with it. See if someone at home will play with you. Play on your own. But um, please make sure you play a full game, whether by yourself or with a partner.